So Ingrid, so we're walking up to uh, the uh, Libertyville Poor Farm Cemetery. I've been here with Tony, so we kind of know what to expect. I've given you very little info. So it's right there behind you in the middle of this field. So what are your thoughts offhand since you kind of grew up in the Libertyville area? Well, it, it's kind of a weird feeling when you walk up to it because you wouldn't think that it was a cemetery. But yeah, you can feel something is around here. So it, it's just one of those type of things where you stumble across it and you have the different feelings by the trees, the way the trees are in place, kind of draws me to that. So I'm going to just have to see. Okay, well let's go. So now we've got some three feet of weeds, which could swallow you. So I didn't bring my reading glasses to read that, so I guess you're going to have to do it. Wow. You can really feel something here. You feel that weight. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. The closer you get, the more you feel the tug. Like the way the trees are placed, it's like to keep everything in. That was our guess too, and there are no markers at all. There is nothing. It's just uh, the sign right there. Doors and Dan and John and Gilbert, Stanley. Wow. And then you'll see, um, where is it? Right in the middle, May 18th, 1927, it just says unknown man. The draw that you feel on this place is unbelievable. And you gotta wonder why with the trees, they did what they did. Wow, now the camera, I can't get it to stop recording. It's stuck. Especially back in this corner and this corner. It's like you can feel it, you just feel it. Yeah. 